Today we're going to go over some of the main tools that you'll be using in order to create the stock analysis crew with Crew AI. Now, if you've never worked with Crew AI before, this is going to be a very beginner friendly tutorial. However, I do recommend that you go back and check out this tutorial playlist that I set up for you where we set up a Crew AI template project. And in that project, we take you through the basics of setting up Crew AI, how to download it to your machine, how to run it, how to even, even how to install a code editor, even how to install a code editor from scratch. Again, super beginner friendly, even if you have no programming experience, that's gonna be for you. My name is Sector Pineda. My goal is to help you learn how to use these tools, even if you don't necessarily have a technical background. Whether you're trying to learn how to use AI because you're curious, because you want to use it to improve your life, or you want to apply it to your small business, I want you to feel like you have the tools to implement this technology. Even if you've never worked with this kind of technology before, I want to make it as easy as possible for you to be able to walk through any of the obstacles that come with installing or setting up these technologies. So let's get started. So the good thing about this stock analysis program that we're going to write is that it's actually already been written for us. So if you go to the Crew AI website, you go to their documentation tab. This will take you to a page that shows you all the examples that you can set up and run that already use Crew AI. Here we have the stock analysis example. Now, if you've never seen this before, this is simply a GitHub page. This is just a website that's used to store programs, to store code. Developers use it to collaborate. So because Crew AI is open source at the moment, you are able to basically use this for free. But again, it does take a little bit of technical know-how, but we're gonna go over that in another video. So looking at this page, what we wanna find out now and what I wanna to explain to you is, I wanna tell you the tools that you'll be learning how to use once you finish with this project. So the project is already here, it's already been made for you. The biggest part of it is gonna be getting you to set it up. Now, I know that can seem a little bit daunting if you've never worked with Python, if you've never worked with Core AI, if you've never worked with anything technological or AI related, it might seem like a very big pain to set up at the beginning. The only thing I wanna show you is the tools we're gonna to use. So what we're gonna do is right now we're gonna look at our .env file. This is typically a file that your program uses to store passwords. And we can see here these references to four different API keys. Now, if you've watched other tutorials, if you've watched other videos, I'm sure you keep hearing the term API key. All an API key is, is a passcode that a company gives you so that you can access their application and use their services for your application. It's as simple as that. And if you've used Crea before, pretty sure you at least had to use it with the API key for ChatGPT if you're using OpenAI's technology. But there's actually so much more that you can do with Crea AI outside of just linking it to ChatGPT. So for this stock analysis crew project, there are four main tools that your crew is gonna use. The first one's gonna be Google search. So your program is gonna be able to browse the internet. The second one is it's gonna look up stock history. So based on stock market filings from the SEC, also it's gonna be able to browse the internet. And then finally, it's gonna use ChatGPT in our case to basically analyze the data that we give it. In terms of what APIs we need for this, in order to do Google search, we're gonna use Serper API. That's literally just a service that allows you to Google search through your application. We're also gonna use SEC API. This is just an API that's used to look up information on stock records, financial data from SEC filings. We're gonna use Browserless API. So all Browserless API is, is it's gonna let your application browse the internet with a headless browser. And all that is, is typically when you go on the internet, when you look up a web page, you can see all the pictures, you can read all the words, and they all tend to be aligned pretty nicely, pretty well because of the graphical user interface. Again, whether it's Chrome or Firefox, it doesn't matter what browser you're using, it's meant to look very pretty, very stylish. So all a headless browser does is you can retrieve the data from the websites without having to worry about any of the visual elements. And that's what your crew application is gonna use. And last, we're gonna use our OpenAI API key. And this is gonna be what allows for your crew AI to use OpenAI's ChatGPT models in order to analyze the data. Again, this video is just meant to give you a high level overview on what we're gonna be covering with this tutorial. So if you've been interested in working with AI, not only are you gonna be working with AI, you're gonna be working with AI agents, which I'm sure you know it's all the rage right now. Not only is your AI crew gonna be able to perform a complex analysis, it's gonna do it with live data from the web. So you're gonna learn how to scrape data with your AI agents. And on top of that, you're also gonna perform what I think is really cool stock analysis. And again, 
I just want to emphasize that the way I'm going to walk you through these videos is not going to be with any assumptions of any kind of technical background. We might do a little bit of coding, but I'll show you exactly what it is that we need to input in order to do the commands that we need to use. It doesn't matter if you've never used GitHub before. It doesn't matter if you've never used Python before. These videos are going to be very detailed. And I'm sure if you go back through the one I did previously for the template project, I'm sure you'll see that I try to be as thorough and non-technical as possible. Because again, if there's one thing I learned with my computer science degree, is that you don't need a degree to learn technology. Unfortunately, now I have a lot of student debt to learn that lesson, but I don't want you to go through that. I want to be able to educate as many people as possible with this groundbreaking technology that is AI. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.